Dear God, in the name of Jesus, according to Romans 10 verse 9, I confess with my lips that Jesus is Lord, and in my heart I believe that you raised him from the dead. According to Luke 13 verse 3, I repent of my past sins and I admit and confess that I have sinned and I believe that you are faithful and just to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I call upon you, Lord Jesus, to cleanse me from all sin and unrighteousness by your blood. 1 John 1 verse 7. And as your word says in Romans 10 verse 13, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I confess and repent of occult practices such as witchcraft, fortune-telling, horoscopes, astrology, water-witching, etc. I renounce all occult practices and Satan and break all curses associated with those occult practices. According to Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ purchased our freedom, redeeming us from the curse, doom, of the law and its condemnation by himself becoming a curse for us, for it is written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree is crucified, Deuteronomy 21 verse 23. I confess and repent of all sins listed in Deuteronomy 27 and 28 and break the curses associated with these sins. I confess and repent of my iniquities and my father's iniquities according to Leviticus 26 verse 40 and I break the curses associated with these iniquities. I break and loose myself from all evil soul ties with my mother, father, brother, sisters, spouses, former spouses, former sex partners, pastors, churches, friends, etc. Lord Jesus, I forgive my mother, father, brothers, sisters, and anyone else who has ever hurt me, including all whites, blacks, Indians, etc. Matthew 6, 15, 18, 21, 22, 35, Luke 11, verse 4, Lord's Prayer. I break and loose myself and my family from all curses that have been and are being placed upon me and my family, including any demons being sent to us, curses of witchcraft, psychic thoughts or prayers, ungodly intercessory prayers, all words spoken in anger, hurt, sorrow, or bitterness, all incense being burned for or against us in Jesus' name. Amen. A. Confess. B. Repent. C. Ask forgiveness of. Sending the judgment of God. These scriptures, Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, Psalm 109, 140, and Isaiah 54 verse 17 are just four of many scriptures that offer us some protection against people coming against us. I personally know of a number of people who came against me and met with terrible judgment from the Lord. One man used to make fun by saying frequently, seen any demons lately, with a laugh. He unexpectedly was fired from his job, his wife divorced him, he was in an auto wreck that almost killed him, he turned into an alcoholic, and had a massive heart attack. A previous employer who tried to wrongly fire me lost a multi-million dollar contract for interfering with God's work. I've heard or read testimonies from some of you where God has intervened or judged on your behalf. These kinds of things happen to people all the time. Sometimes it happens real quick, and sometimes it takes days, weeks, months, or even years before the judgment of God falls on them. If you are under a lot of attack, you may want to specifically pray these scriptures against someone. It is God's business when and how he deals with that person. If the person is innocent, nothing will happen to them. I make it a point to warn people, especially about Psalm 109, so they don't make fun or mock God's ministry of deliverance. This is not practicing witchcraft. We do not pray for bad things to happen to people. We rightfully pray to God. Once we have done this, it is God's business how he handles it. I believe a person can avoid the judgment of God in these matters by repenting. The scriptures say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Unfortunately, in my experiences, not having the knowledge of deliverance did not keep the bad things from happening to people who came against me. Pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I send the judgment of God to my enemies. I pray Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, Psalm 109 and 140, Isaiah 54 verse 17, and any like scriptures on them, and anyone else coming against us, in the name of. Another anti-witchcraft prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, I break and loose myself from all witchcraft curses and evil and demons being sent to me and my family. As your war club, 
Jeremiah 51 verses 20 to 23, and weapons of war, I break in pieces the walls of protection that the Satanists and witches have put up, and I return the evil and demons back to them. Exodus 22 verse 18, I send the judgment of God to the Satanists and witches sending anything our way, in Jesus' name. I heap coals from the altar of God upon their foreheads, in Jesus' name. I cover me and my family with the blood of Jesus and ask for warring angels to be placed around us for protection. I break and loose us from psychic power, thoughts, and prayers. I break and loose us from words spoken in hurt, anger, sorrow, or bitterness. I break and loose us from the power of incense and candles being burned on our behalf. I break and loose us from ungodly intercessory prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Finances Father, in Jesus' name, I bind all demons that would cause me to have job failure or money failure. I bind all demons that would keep me from receiving all money, possessions, inheritance, jobs, promotions, bonuses, or raises that are rightfully mine. In Jesus' name, I command the demons to return these to me sevenfold. Father, I ask that you send your angels out to gather these and bring them to me in Jesus' name. I loose the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 upon me in Jesus' name. Amen. Note, having unicorns in your home or an Italian horn can cause finance problems. This can be statues or anything else. Finances. Father, in Jesus' name, I bind all demons that would cause me to have job failure or money failure. I bind all demons that would keep me from receiving all money, possessions, inheritance, jobs, promotions, bonuses, or raises that are rightfully mine. In Jesus' name, I command the demons to return these to me sevenfold. Father, I ask that you send your angels out to gather these and bring them to me in Jesus' name. I loose the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 upon me in Jesus' name. Amen. Note, having unicorns in your home or an Italian horn can cause finance problems. This can be statues or anything else. Sleep. Father, in Jesus' name. I bind all demons of the night, nightmares, bad dreams, torment, sleeplessness, torture. I command these demons to loose me and come out of me, and I ask that you protect my mind while I sleep, in Jesus' name. Spiritual walk with the Lord and anointing. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word. I loose the sevenfold spirits of God in me in Jesus' name. Be sure to anoint your home. Include all doors and windows and bind the demons and command them to leave. You can do this in your office also. Declaration Against Evil Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Psalms 97 verse 10 Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Psalms 119 verse 104 Hate the evil, and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Amos 5 verse 15 I hate everything that God hates. I hate sin and iniquity. I hate Satan, demons, and evil forces.